Greetings folks, happy days here at Newton Airlines. I've finally worked out how to make a uh, roll axis gimbal using iNav. I used to be able to do it easily in clean flight with the NAS32 board, but uh, I've been really frustrated trying to get it to work properly in iNav. The problem is the initial implementation of CamStab uh, and the uh, gimbal roll in iNav would only give you about 20% of the movement you needed from the servo uh, to keep the camera steady. And the way it was set up was that you'd, you'd have to do a full 360 degree roll of the board to get the uh, full movement of the servo. We needed to be able to multiply that by about six times, I think, 360 to say 60 degrees of the servo. We were lacking that ability to scale up the output to the servo, basically. In the upcoming version of uh, INAV firmware, the 2.1, which hasn't been released uh, as a stable version yet. They've changed the way the CamStab works. They've actually doubled the output so that you still need 180 degree roll of the board to get the full uh, movement of the servo. I need more than that. Uh, the servo only moves through, what, 90 degrees or something like that, 60 to 100 degrees, depending on the servo. So you need to be able to scale that output even greater and adjust it to suit your survey. With the method I worked out, you can achieve this with the existing 2.0 firmware, uh, as well as the upcoming 2.1 firmware. Now you might be wondering, what's the point of a roll axis gimbal? Well, this is what it can do. As long as you've sorted out the center of gravity issues, you can mount it on the back of a plane and get this sort of view. And I have also mounted it out on a selfie stick, which I'll show you now, and that gives an awesome view as well. So let's go to the computer and see how we do it. For this example, I'm using an Omnibus F4 V2 board, and we're using iNav Configurator 2.1, and the firmware on the board is, uh, where are we? Uh, 2.0.1. But anyway, 2.1 isn't a stable release yet, so I'm using the 2.0, and I've actually worked out how to add a multiplication factor, basically, to the rate. Uh, so let's go to, where are we, modes. So we've got to go to modes and enable cam stab. Make sure it's on all the time, or for my application I am. You can put it on the switch if you want to. For the mixer, what we do is add a new mixer rule. Servo, we'll call it servo 1. And we're going to add a gimbal roll. There we go, gimbal roll there. Weight is 100. So what I'm wanting to do is actually increase that rate up to about 400 or so. Uh, it won't let you go higher, it only lets you go lower. In the servo screen, you actually can increase the rate of movement up to 125. That's not enough. So back in the mixer, all we need to do really is add a new mixer rule. And we can actually sort of multiply the output. Put another mixer line for servo one, gimbal roll, another 100, that makes it 200%. Keep going, we need to get up to about four, 350, 400%. That's 300, and add another one. I found that this was what we needed to do to get the board angle matching the servo angle. So we save and reboot that. With the next version of the firmware, 2.1, that's board firmware, uh, you'll only need two of these lines and you'll need to drop down to about 50 or 40 or something like that with this second line. 